Logomo is a very multi-purpose house. One of the major things about audio was that we wanted it to have acoustics for amplified music. That was the main goal. And we achieved a very good hall for amplified music. So we wanted to also set up concerts with only acoustical orchestra. That was the challenge. We want to change it every night. We've brought a lot of equipment into this building to make the Constellation system work. We've got uh, some 270 loudspeakers and we've got 80 microphones. We've got 16 microphones over the stage and the idea of Constellation is that we capture the sound from the orchestra over the stage. We then apply the sound from the orchestra or the performance to our Dimitri system and then to our VRS processes and then we return the energy into the room in the form of a reverberation and early reflections. We can then not only create a, a wonderful sort of virtual stage shell for performers but we can also add early reflections into the auditorium itself. In addition to that, we've got 32 microphones throughout the body of the auditorium. Their job is not to capture early energy, but instead to capture the reverberant energy in the auditorium space. And we return that into the hall via our reverberators to expand the size of the perceived space. It's the first time we've ever actually uh, put a system into a hall that can actually morph into three different sizes. So we had to think, how can we actually configure this? Effectively, what we had to do was design and calibrate three different halls, and we treated them as three completely separate venues when we were in the calibration and tuning process. Been able to install a system that can range the reverberation times, anything from less than one second with the system switched off right up to three seconds if they decide they want to do a, a choral music, a church music or something like that. So we've actually been able to build a system here that can adapt to just about every performance style. And that's what Constellation's about. It's about being able to change the building electronically at the touch of a button to suit any particular uh, need of the end users. Here is the Constellation System Controller. Uh, you can see it's a very simple user interface for the people here. Um, now in this hall, as I explained earlier, we've got three different hall sizes. We've got the small hall that we're in at the moment and then once we select the hall size, so we're in a small uh, configuration at the moment. Uh, we then have a stage, uh, different stage sizes. Now we can have a small, medium or large stage configuration. We've also got the pit and there are occasions here when they have no stage at all and just use the uh, house uh, reverberation system. So in this case we've got the medium stage and then we need to choose a reverberation time. Now just to demonstrate this I'm going to choose a long reverberation time and you can hear it straight away. One, two, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And if I turn the system off, there we go. It's dead again. Very dry. Small town, this Turku. And there are not that many people around us. Fortunately, people around Finland are actually arriving to see our shows here. And so we have to be adaptable. Sometimes we actually stage large concerts. As often as we do that, we also do small conferences, small scale meetings and things like that in the same hall. So it's crucial for us. It's adaptable and it's also changeable in acoustics because that's what we want to do. We have to be diverse. We want to do different kinds of shows. Rock and roll, speech, theatre, opera and classical music. You name it, we can do all of it.